What's up everybody? If you're having problems with your FJED door handle where it just doesn't work, it could be two things. Number one, it could be the door lock actuator and you're actually not unlocking the door. So make sure that the door is unlocked on the inside. And number two, it could be another little plastic piece that's pretty easy to replace and pretty easy to fix. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go over today is what to do if the door handle's not working and the door is unlocked. All right, let's check it out. Start by making sure the door is unlocked. You might also want to check the child lock. However, this is not relevant to the outside door handle. The child lock only is applicable to the inside door handle. So the problem I'm about to show is only if the outside door handle is not working. If your inside door handle is not working, make sure that the child lock, this is in the child lock position where the inside won't work. And then this is the unlocked position you have this handy little sticker here. Alright, check those two things before you tear your door apart. Open up the door so you can access the door handles and pull the trim off. For this repair, you should be able to open the door from the inside if the handle on the outside isn't working. If both handles are not working, then you're really in trouble. Both the inside and outside handles use similar clips, so if both of them break and you can't open the door, that's a really big problem. So I would suggest that you try to do this repair if one of them breaks, um, because it would be really bad if they both broke and you couldn't open the door. So start by removing the handle and the trim around the door handle. You can see me doing it here on the rear lift gate because that was the one that broke on my car, but you can also do the same exact repair on the doors. You just need to remove the door card, which is a little bit harder than this rear trim piece on the lift gate. Once the trim is removed, you can look inside and see how the actuator mechanism works. I will show you in a moment up close. Take a look. Here you can see the door latch mechanism, and you can kind of see right there where I'm pointing with my finger, the part that has come apart. This piece fell out of the actuator arm on the door latch. In just a moment, you will see me be able to push it back in so you can see how it looks. Here's how it's supposed to look with the actuator in place. I just pushed the broken one back in and was able to actuate it a number of times without it falling out. You can see it comes out pretty easy when wiggled just the right way, but you might be able to push it back in and get it to work a couple days while you order the part you need. Here is what the broken plastic piece looks like outside of the car. You can see that at the top there's supposed to be two of these half moon pieces and one of them has broken off completely. Unfortunately there's no easy way to really fix this part even though I can get it outside of the car but I did try wrapping some electrical tape to get that to work temporarily, and surprisingly, the electrical tape solution worked for longer than I expected while I was waiting for the new part to arrive. Here is how I wrapped the electrical tape. I took the little metal piece off and the plastic piece off, and I just wrapped the electrical tape around the tip. It didn't really work very well, and in fact, it might even be easier not to use the plastic piece at all and just wrap electrical tape around and push it back in that hole until the plastic piece arrives. Here is what the new parts I ordered look like. You can see they come in a left and right version. I will put a link to these parts in the description and the part number to reference. The easiest way that I found to install this is with a pair of very long needle nose pliers. It was still a bit of a pain, but install the plastic piece into the hole on the actuator arm and then push the metal pin piece in afterwards. If you took this metal pin piece off, make sure that you have adjusted correctly. It's probably easier to just leave it on and not do the electrical tape fix as I showed before. Just buy these parts, they're very cheap. And then you have basically a lifetime supply. Once you have the plastic piece put back in, push in the metal actuator arm, and then slide the plastic piece down in place to lock it in place. And then it should work. After that, it's just a simple matter of putting all the trim back together. Back here on the lift gate, you just 
slide the plastic piece into place, and then pop the ten or so little pop nuts, or whatever they're called, pop retainers, and then put the handle back on, and the door lock, trim piece, and then you're done. It's pretty simple. This is the part where I and every single other YouTuber tells you to please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. It does, in fact, help us out. Apparently, algorithms are a thing. Who knew? Alright, thanks.